Good morning and welcome to the first episode of Brussels on Tap 120 seconds for the year 2023, reporting from Brussels for the week 16th of January. First and foremost, though, uh, we wish you a happy new year and health and happiness to you and all those around you, no matter what calendar you may follow. The European Parliament's first plenary session of 2023 starts today and will focus on having a key debate on the outcomes of the 15 December EU summit, the protest crackdown and executions in Iran, to establish a tribunal on the crime against aggression against Ukraine, to debate on the priorities of the Swedish EU Council presidency, the election of a new EP vice president following MEP Eva Kaili's arrest for corruption and money laundering, a debate to reform of EU procedures and control measures for waste shipments, and also to discuss Uber's lobbying practices in the EU. Moving on to the Council of the EU, the Eurogroup meeting will be held today, Monday. The first item on the agenda will be to discuss the Council's approach to Euro area enlargement with an update on Eurocash changeover in Croatia. The meeting will also look at the progress of the digital Euro project and fiscal policy coordination in the Euro area. The Economic and Financial Affairs Council will be held tomorrow, Tuesday. The priority remains the economic and financial impact of Russia's war against Ukraine. The Commission will update ministers on the economic and financial situation, as well as on the implementation of the EU's macrofinancial assistance to the Ukraine. And now for the European Commission, which is focusing on the digital and clean tech this week. The Digital Decade Programme 2030 kicked off this month. It focuses on improving citizens' basic and advanced digital skills, improving the take-up of new technologies like AI, data and cloud in the EU among businesses, including small businesses. Also furthering the advance of the EU's connectivity, computing and data infrastructure, and making public services and administration available online are also of scope. So, keep an eye out for the first state of the Digital Decade Report, which is expected to be published in June of this year. On Thursday, the European Commission is hosting a conference titled the Innovation Fund Financing Innovative Clean Tech Conference in support of the European Green Deal. Policymakers, investors, stakeholders and industry leaders will gather to raise awareness among the community of public and private financiers about the many business opportunities brought about by the EU Innovation Fund. The conference builds on the outcomes of the first Financing Innovative Clean Tech Conference, which was held in 2020. That's all for this edition of 120 Seconds. We look forward to welcoming you next week, and in the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned.